Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a kind of a um, how to buy a used Keurig on like Facebook Marketplace or off of eBay. There's some things I've bought. I bought five or six Keurigs and I've been burned by a couple. So I just want to go over some of the things that I found that, that maybe could help you guys out. So I know with this porch pickup on Facebook Marketplace, it's kind of hard to buy these things. You got to be really selective though in buying a Keurig um, because they have water pumps inside them. Now, normal coffee pots um, don't have any really moving parts. They just kind of uh, heat the water and it kind of percolates out. So they tend to last a little longer. These Keurigs have an actual, they have moving parts in them. They got a, a water pump. And I think that water pump tends to go bad over time. And another thing is, so... I would highly recommend plugging it in and trying it out. If you do the porch pickup without plugging it in, I'm just, you're going to have to really look it over. See, I even bought some that I thought where it looked really good. And the person said they didn't use it much and, and all that. And it was still bad. So it's just really, really hard to buy one of these used. If you can't plug it in and try it out, there's two things that I would bring with you, a measuring cup and a thermometer. If I had to bring one, just the measuring cup. The measuring cup is going to tell you if the pump is working right. What I've found is when these start to go bad, when the pumps start to go bad, they don't just fail. They kind of slow down and they don't pump as much water and that sort of thing. So you may plug it in and do something and you say, oh, the pump's working. It's putting water out. But is it putting the correct amount of water out? That's the big key. And then the temperature. So I haven't noticed the, the temperature failing as much as I have the pump. So make sure, and you don't want something that does ounces. So these cure eggs are all about ounces. There's either a six ounce setting, eight ounce, 10 ounce, 12 ounce setting. And you're gonna verify that it's, it's putting out the, the correct water. And so the other big thing to look out for, so look, these, these things are made very well, but there's a lot of plastic. But see all the moving parts you have right here? Okay, this is very delicate. All of this mechanism here, this can be, that's a, I bought one with the control arms broke. Didn't know it until I got it home. Um, so some of these, make sure this opens up. If those control arms are broke, um, this will just stay flat. It'll still work and everything, but it just doesn't, you know, quite operate like it should. So be careful. This mechanism and all this area here is just, it's all plasticky. And it can get broken really easy. So make sure that works. Same with this. This is the one where the one was broke. Now when you get this K-Cafe, I'd make sure the frother works. These frothers do... I have read some comments where the frothers are not working. They're not spinning that little black thing in there. But uh, the main thing we're going to be concentrating on... So like this one says 6 ounce, 8 ounce, 10 ounce. And this one doesn't say. But... I'm pretty sure this is a six, eight, and ten, but we're gonna I'm gonna show you what they are. I'd make sure the descale light's not on. You know, that's gonna be a dead giveaway that this thing has not been, you know, there's gonna be a lot of lime and calcium buildup in it. So the first thing you have to do is really deep clean it. The next thing is so the water tanks. The water tanks are nice, but they're kind of a hard plastic that cracks really easy. So look at the plastic and make sure there's no cracks because people are constantly having to lift these and fill them and different things. So I have noticed, I have bought some that have had cracks repaired. So just look at the water tanks over real good. Make sure there's no cracks and they should be clean. So water tanks are relatively easy to clean. That is going to be a good indication. If the bottom of the water tank is clean, you know, they've probably been taking good care of it. And this area here, this area here should be relatively clean. Okay, so the K Classic. This is um, their number one bestseller. Now, some of the older ones have got that touch screen, and they call it 2.0 and that. I would tend to stay away from those. those though that's an older model that they haven't been selling. They've kind of gone back to the standard. You can put any K cup in, and it brews it. So, and the, you know, the... You'll see some Keurig machines on there that are five, six, seven years old. And I just, I don't know that I would buy one of those or not. But these things do tend to hold their value. That's the thing. People, you know, people pay a lot for these. So this is about $80 to $100. 
And when they go to sell it two years from now, they, they want like 50 or $60. To me, that's just too much. Um, unless it really, really works good. And it's just really hard to tell. Um, then you'll find some that are for sale really cheap, like 10 bucks for Keurig. Well, it's probably not going to work. They're probably just trying to get rid of it, but not necessarily the case. But uh, these things are just so tricky to buy used. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is, like I said, plug it in, make sure it warms up. And then we're just going to do, uh, I'm not going to put a cake up in or anything. Because this, this is going to be quick and easy for you when you're at the place buying it. They should brew right away. That's what Keurig are known for is brewing their stuff right away. And this should come up to the six ounce mark right there. And kind of listen to the pump. Does the pump sound good? And then the second part is the temperature. So you're going to want, this is a coffee maker. So, you, you know, this is 175. You're going to want at least 165, 170 coming out of here. And then that's the heater heating the water back up. Okay, so now let's just do the largest setting. We're going to do the largest setting and then we'll, we'll see how, how much quantity it puts out. You know, make sure water's just coming out the hole. Make sure it's not coming up around the machine. I have seen some carries where water starts coming off to the side or back here. That tells you something's wrong. So the largest setting here is almost 12 ounces, not quite. So it's probably really a 10 ounce setting. So this one's probably six, eight, and 10. And you can look at the user manual to make sure. So this machine is known for a shot. So on the latte side, I would do a latte and then I would just press the button because the strong and the shot liner lid. So I would do a shot. And this does a two ounce shot. Now, unfortunately, this one, the K Cafe, the shot doesn't quite get up to a really super hot temperature because it's just not a lot of water. So it's about 160, 165. Now it brews the espresso shot a little different. It kind of brews it a little bit and then it kind of shoots a bunch at the end. So that doesn't, that means the machine's working correctly. So yeah, just a little bit cooler just because you don't have quite enough water in there. So Cuisinart sells a K-Cup machine. Um, this is actually a really well-made machine. And I would do the same thing with it. When you turn it on, you can select different quantities. So I would make sure it brews the right amount of liquid and I would check the temperature. So even these really small single serve K cup machines, Walmart sells one, Amazon sells a couple different brands. I would just look at the needles, you know, and I would definitely do a brew and make sure, look at the manual and see it's putting out the right amount of, of water. And I would check the temperature. And the big way you can tell on these is, so you'll get a lot of lime buildup down there if people haven't cleaned it. That's relatively easy to clean. So if no one's taking really good care of it, that they'll be, they'll be really white down there. So here we have the Keurig K Duo. And again, it's got the same kind of mechanism. Now this one doesn't tilt forward, but you want to make sure this mechanism works. It's got different quantities. The only weak point I saw on this was this. This is kind of a really delicate track that this slides on. So you got to kind of take care of it. Um, and then it does kind of have a brittle uh, water tank. This, I think this could be cracked really, really easy. And then you would just want to check the temperature. You know, check the temperature coming out of the Keurig side and the coffee pot side. So even Mr. Coffee sells a Keurig. K cup machine single serve you know and i've done a detailed review on this but the main thing i would check so see it's got settings i would check make sure it serves 10 ounces and six ounces and that it puts out a pretty good temperature 
And this water tank is pretty brittle too. I'd make sure this water tank wasn't cracked. But I wouldn't be afraid to buy these. These are a little cheaper than Keurigs just because they don't say Keurig. And they do the same same job, just less functions. You know, you just got two sizes to choose from. So just to finish up on these used Keurigs, um, you can get some good deals. You just got to be careful. I would definitely plug it in. I would definitely check the temperature and the quantity. Um, it seems like Facebook Marketplace is the place where people are buying these. These are kind of harder to ship. So, so if you bought one off eBay, uh, I'd make sure that, that you could you could return it. But again, you're probably going to have to pay the return shipping on eBay sometimes. So, And don't forget, Amazon has returns. So if you go to the Amazon page for this, try to buy it new. On the right-hand side, you'll see a link that says uh, new and used or other. And you click on it, and Amazon sellers will sell ones that they've taken back on return. And those usually offer free returns, so that's pretty nice. So I hope this helps. Um, you can add your comments. What do you think of buying a used Keurig? What to look out for? What maybe um, have been some bad models? I really, I would stay away from the older model, like the seven or eight years old. And they used to have a different type of cup. You know, make sure it's a K cup. You don't want that older cup that they had. But um, again, I hope this video helps. This is, um, my videos are meant to help. And we can start the discussion in the comments of what people think about used Keurigs and, and try to help others buy a used Keurig. Because I know I got burned by three or four by just not uh, plugging them in and checking them out. So if you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.